This is your science period. We are in chapter twelve, reproduction in plants, and this is your sixth part. Topics discussed till date were the reproduction, asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, pollination, and under the pollination we have your self and cross pollination. When we were talking of the reproduction we found that within a plant the flower is the reproductive part of the plant here it has got the four main walls as you know they are your sepals petals and then we have the male part and the female part the male part is said to be the stamen which consists of the anthers and the filament and here we have the female part which is also called the carpel or the pistil and it consists of the three parts the stigma style and the ovary so after the process of fertilization after the process of pollination how this pollen it grows and it goes and joins with the female part either it reaches the ovule that is what is your fertilization then the next that we studied was the pollination pollination is the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same plant or of the different plant of the same kind so this is your pollination so here we studied about the self and the cross pollination after the self and the cross pollination we will be studying about the another process and that is your fertilization what is fertilization fertilization is the process of fusion of the male and the female gamete in the ovule so when the pollen grains they get transferred to the stigma of the same or of the different uh, different either the other flower of the same kind a small thin tube like structure is sent out into the pistil from the pollen grains and this is called the pollen tube so here within the figure you can see how this pollen grain it grows up into a pollen tube and then it goes inside from the first it starts from the stigma then it goes into the style and then later on it reaches into the ovary so this is your process of fertilization and this is also known as the pollen germination so we'll be discussing about this fertilization right now during this process the cell which results after the fusion of the gamete is called the zygote as i said it is deployed in nature the process of the fusion of the male and female gamete is known as fertilization now when the pollen grains they fall on the stigma of a flower of the same kind it develops a long tube like structure which is called the pollen tube so here within the figure again you can see how this pollen how this pollen tube it grows up within the pollen grains the pollen tube it grows down word through the style towards the ovary the male gametes are inside this pollen tube when the tip of the pollen tube it reaches the ovary it opens and the male gamete now will enter into the ovule a male gamete 
then unites with the female gamete that is the egg and this is known as fertilization and the fertilized egg is called the zygote here within the figure you can see how this process is taking place so here in the first figure you can see how this pollen grain is uh, has come and attached at the stigma now when it has attached to the stigma in the second figure you can see how this pollen uh, pollen grain has formed a pollen tube and after formation of the pollen tube it has reached to the ovule now after it has reached the ovule there are uh, you can say there are eggs pollen nuclei ovules all these are there within the ovules all this you don't know but still i will just tell you so here the pollen tube it penetrates in an opening within the ovule which is called a micro file so this is the next stage after which the one of the sperm of the fertilized that fertilizes with the egg and forms the zygote the other sperms they are they do not fertilize either they also fertilize with the other two nuclei and they form the endosperm which becomes the food of the growing embryo so actually this is the entire process which takes place and here this you can see this is an embryo embryo sac embryo sac means within which the embryo grows okay so this is the entire process of fertilization although it is not there in so much detail within you but you should know it now the zygote which develops into an embryo okay now which it's developing into an embryo so what is an embryo embryo is the baby plant which grows now after the formation of the embryo okay what happens is the fruits and the seeds they come up after the fertilization the ovary grows into a fruit so there are two parts the ovary will be growing into the fruit and the other parts of the flower they fall off so the other part of the flower are your sepals petals carpels and the stamen they all shed off and they dry off the ovary persists and it ripens which forms the fruit and from this and forms the fruit the ovules which stores the food for the uh, embryo which later on gets converted into the seed so now the fruit which is the ripened ovary and the seed they develops from the ovules the seed contains an ovary embryo which encloses into a protective covering which is called the seed coat so now the zygote which starts dividing and grows into uh, an embryo the seed contains the young plant which is said to be the embryo and it is protected by a hard covering which is called the seed coat and within it it has the stored food this is stored food is utilized by the growing embryo now here you can see the entire process of fertilization how it is taking place okay so here you can see how from the male part that means from the stamen how the pollen grains they grow they germinate uh, the pollen tube is germinated and then how would they come and stick to the stigma from the stigma how they reach to the style and then how it reaches to the ovary and within the ovary how it fertilizes with the ovule and then the formation of the embryo takes place and embryo which has got a hard covering on it and it germinates and grows up the seeds it will germinate and grow up into a new plant later on which will again produce the flower so this is the entire process of of uh, you can say it is taking place within a flower now 
as i said the fruits which are formed there are some fruits which are formed uh, which are flesh uh, fleshy and juicy and whereas some fruits are there which have a hard covering okay so when we are talking of the fleshy and the juicy fruits here we have the mangoes the apples okay and your oranges so any of your fleshy fruits that we eat that we consume are coming under your flesh, fleshy and juicy fruits other fruits are having the hard covering on it okay and among them we have the almonds we have the walnuts we have the pistachio so all these fruits are there okay so the petals as i already said once again i will just repeat the petals and the stamens they dry and they fall off the pet, uh, the seeds which is inside the ovary now develops the fruit ripens and the fully formed seed it uh, loses most of its water and it dries off and now it becomes a hard and strong this helps in protecting the embryo inside and this embryo will later on change up okay so this is how the process of fertilization takes place how we get the seed and within the seed we have the embryo so today we discussed about the fertilization in plant we discussed about the seed we discussed about the fruit tomorrow we will be studying about the seed dispersal so now the home assignment question what is fertilization second one if uh, ovary is to fruit what is to seed so children hope so that you have understood the topic fertilization